What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. We are back at Insurance Auto Auctions for another IAA walk around. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining. Today, we're going to try something a little bit different. Instead of doing three cars in a video, I'm only going to do one, but I'm going to post two videos a day. One in the morning and one in the evening, kind of doubling your doubling your content, doubling the time that you can see these videos because some of you may not be able to watch them in the mornings, some of you may not be able to watch them at night. The only thing I thought to do is maybe just do one car, so if you see the thumbnail and you're interested in it, you can click on it, and if not, you won't. That way people shouldn't be able to complain so much. It'll also make the view time shorter. There'll be less time that you have to watch a video, so if you're on a break and you only got 10 minutes, well, you might be able to fit this video into your schedule. With that, Comment below and tell me what you think and enjoy the content. So here's what I got for you today. It's a 2000 BMW 328. And I know it's a boring car really, but I love these wheels, but that's fine. Forget about the wheels. You guys probably hate them, right? Let me, let me just give you a full side view of it. Yeah, you guys probably hate those wheels. Anyway, okay, forget the wheels. <clears throat> it's got a little damage going down the side, like scraping, like it ran up on something. This car does have something really going for it though. Oh, she's got suspension damage too. The tires on this side look like they're in rough shape. This one right here, we definitely got some major suspension damage going on under here. This wheel is destroyed. It says it's a factory BMW wheel too. I wonder how much this costs. She's still got some air in the tire though, but look at that. Yeah, that's, that's, that's rough guys. That's rough. And I'll tell you something else that's rough. It's got hail damage all over it. The kidney girls are missing, which is no big deal. You can find those on eBay for next to nothing. Let's see if we can get this hood to stay up for us. Take a look at all the spider webs and stuff under This car went off road is what happened, guys. That's like that's like from a cornfield or something, man. She went she went off road. So there may be some very serious underlying damage, undercarriage damage on this. There are spider webs and cobwebs absolutely everywhere. So on top of whatever damage there is going on here, this car has been sitting for a very, very long time. So there's a good possibility she's not going to run at all. And it doesn't say if it runs or not. This is probably going to go pretty cheap. Look at this. Look at that. Oh yeah, she's been sitting, guys. She's been sitting. Oh, that door didn't want to open either. Wow. <laughs> How's it smell? Honestly, it smells pretty good. Look at all the buildup in here. Oh yeah. Guys, I don't think this one's gonna run. I'm willing to give her a shot. Let me show you what she's got going for. Oh, open that door. Can you see it? Do you see what she has going for yet? Let me let me get you a closer look. Hold on. We get you in here right, right there. A good old manual transmission, man. That's the only reason I'm looking at it. Manual transmission. I don't know what happened there, but that that windshield stock got destroyed. That's all right. You just glue that back on, right? It's got this sticky pad for your phone that melted all over the dash. So that's really nice too. It's a nice little car. It's small, but you know what they say, big things come in small packages. Actually, that's not true. Small things come in small packages. And that's what some people say just to, you know, make themselves feel better. I'm gonna grab a booster pack. We're gonna hook it up and we're gonna find out together if she runs. Now, listen, I understand that people don't tend to like change and that this way of doing videos is totally different from the way I've ever done videos before. Um, so just bear with me. And if you don't like it, leave a comment below. If you do like it, leave a comment below and help me make better videos for the channel. Let's see, 143,000 miles on the car. She's gonna run. I didn't expect that. She's gonna run. She will. You watch. There it is. Oh. Almost had her. No. Come on, old girl. There it is. No, 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 no. Come on. Yeah. There it is. Up. Oh. Ooh. Well, she ain't happy. There it is. There it is. Check engine lights on. It says every light on the car is burned out.
All right, I got a, a yellow oil light on the dash. Because this car probably has undercarriage damage, I'm gonna check this oil. Just make sure it's got some. Oh, it does. Yeah, she's got oil. She's nice and wet. It's probably just a little low. I think if it was completely out of oil, we would have a red oil warning light. Let's go ahead and fire it back up. I just wanted to be safe. There we go. And the oil light went out. We have a, you probably can't see, check engine light right there. Low washer fluid. It shows down here that every light bulb on the car is out. That low oil warning is gone now. Curious if she's got air conditioning. Not that it matters, but I'm, I'm gonna check it anyway. And let's check the clutch. We'll let that come to life for a minute. Let's take the e-brake off. It goes right into gear, not a problem. And does it go forward? Let's take a look. Yeah, it does. She moves. Reverse. That's forward. How do you get... How the heck do you get reverse on this thing? It's got to be some kind of a lockout, right? Like you push it down and... Huh. Well, that's forward again. <laughs> okay. Lift up? No? Push down? Ah, there it is. There it is. Yeah, strong clutch, guys. Air conditioning is a no-go. I'm not really surprised there, guys. I didn't expect it to work. We'll go ahead and shut it off. She sounds good. Important window? Well, sort of. It works. You got the Harman Kardon system. Horn works. Brakes feel good. Steering, surprisingly, even with the damage to that right front. Steering feels all right, too. Let's go see if she's smoking or anything out the back here. I left the e-brake off. Don't sweat it. It's got flat tires. It's not going anywhere. I'll put the e-brake on before we leave. Yeah, she runs like a top. Like a top. Smooth as silk. I didn't expect this car to fire. Oh. Um, someone took the battery. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess that means if we disconnect the booster pack, she's going to die, right? Well, the alternator. Alternator's keeping her running. She's running smooth, too, guys. No smoke, no oil, no nothing. Listen to that. Okay, I know it's probably something most of you are not interested in. I think this is an easy fix, though. I could be wrong, but I think this is an easy fix. Let's put that back up. Let's shut her down. Let's put her back in gear. And we'll just, we'll just leave her be. I don't know. Comment below, tell me what you think. I need to find at least one of those wheels, too. So if any of you know where I could get one of those, Drop a comment below. It, you can't post a link. YouTube like automatically deletes your link. But give it a try. If you've got a link to those wheels, man, leave a link below. The tire size are uh, 225, 45, 17. So these rims are 17. And if we got a part number, it says RS740. There's an IS20 and a 1094377. That's probably the number right there. 1094377. Seven. We definitely need one, maybe two, because I really like the way these wheels will look. Guys, comment below. Tell me what you think of the little 3 Series. I know it's nothing fancy, and it's not that big of a wreck to fix, but I think it could be a fun little car. Again, drop your comments below and tell me what you think of this style of video, whether you love it or hate it. I want to know in the comments section down below. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you to IA for letting us come out here. Till next time, stay safe out there, everybody. I look forward to seeing you all again very soon in the next one.